welcome learners i am dr pallavi call and today we will know about mid day meal scheme and its contribution in sarv shiksha abhiyan mid day meal is a wholesome freshly cooked lunch served to the school children in india the roots of this program can be traced back to the pre independence era when a mid day meal program was introduced in 1925 in madras corporation by the british administration a mid day meal program was introduced in the union ter- territories of pondicherry by the french administration in 1930 initiatives by state government to children began with the launch of a mid day meal program in primary school in the 1962-63 school year Tamil Nadu is a pioneer in introducing the mid-day meal program in India to increase the number of kids coming to the school. Thiru K. Kamraj, then Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, introduced it first in Chennai and later extended it to all the district of Tamil Nadu. During 1982, July 1st onwards, the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, uh, Thiru M. G. Ramachandran upgraded the existing midday meal scheme in the state to nutriting food scheme nutritious food scheme keeping in mind that 68 lakh children were suffering with malnutrition in the state Gujarat was the second state to introduce an midday meal scheme in 1984 but it later it was discontinued A midday meal scheme was introduced in Kerala in 1984 and was gradually expanded to include more school and grades. By 1990-91, 12 states were funding the scheme to all or most of the students in the area. Goa, Gujarat, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Tripura and Uttar Pradesh even Karnataka, Orissa and West Bengal received international aid to help with the implementing of the program and in Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan the program was entirely funded using the foreign aid in Karnataka children's uh, love castle trust started to provide midday meal in 1997 a total of 8 schools were adopted and a fund bank program and an anganwadi milk program was started the fund bank program was replaced by the state government midday meal scheme the government of india initiated the national program of nutritional support to the primary education also known in short form as np nspe on 15th august 1995 the objective of this scheme is to help and improve the effectiveness of primary education by improving the nutritional status of primary school children in school to achieve the big goal of universalization of elementary education in our vast country india The objective of midday meal as issued by the government are the first objective is improving the nutritious status of children in class 1 to 5th in government local body and government aided schools even EGS and AI centers the second objective is uh, encouraging the children belonging to the disadvantaged sector to attend school more regularly and help them concentrate on the classroom activities and the third objective is providing nutritional support to children of the primary stage especially in the drought affected areas during the summer vacation initially the scheme was implemented in around 2408 blocks of the country to provide fruit to the student in classes one and through five of the government government aided and the local bodies run schools 
By 1997-98, the scheme had been implemented across the country. Under this program, a cooked midday meal with 300 calories and 12 grams of protein was provided to all children enrolled in the classes 1 to 5. In October 2007, the scheme included students in even upper primary classes of 6 and 7 and even 8. In around 3,479 educationally backward blocks. And the name was changed from National Program for Nutrition Support to Primary, uh, to primary Education to National Program of Midday Meals in School. Though cooked food was to be provided, most states, apart from those already providing the cooked food, chose to provide dry ration to the students. Now, what do we mean by dry ration? The dry ration refers to the provision of uncooked 3 kg of wheat or rice to the children with 80% attendance. In April 2001, the People Union of Civil Liberties, also known as PUCL, initiated the pub public interest litigation under uh, Civil Court number 196-2001, People Union for Civil Liberties 5, Union of India and others, also popularly known as Right to Food case, a very interesting case. The PUCL argued that Article 21, that is, Right to Life of the Indian Constitution, when read together with Article 39A and 47, makes the right to food a derived fundamental right, which is enforceable by virtue of the constitutional remedial provided under Article 32 of the Constitution. Now, the PUCL argued that excess of food stored with the Food Corporation of India should be fed to the hungry citizens. This included providing midday meal schemes in the primary schools. The scheme came into enforcement with the Supreme Court order dated 28th November 2001 which states that the, we direct the state government union territories to implement the midday meal scheme by providing every child in every government and government assisted primary school with a prepared midday meal. Now this is very important because now earlier the dry ration was given and now the government has to give midday meal scheme which is already pre-cooked. There were many interim orders also in this respect. Uh, the Supreme Court occasionally issued a number of interim orders regarding the midday meal schemes. Some examples are as on the screen. On the screen, we see a few of the interim orders which were given by Supreme Court. Uh, let uh, The first order dated 28 November 2001 is the basic entitlement order. Uh, every child in every government and government assisted primary school with a prepared midday meal with a minimum content of 300 calories and 8 to 12 grams of protein each day of school for a minimum of 200 days. So this is the basic entitlement which is given for each child. The next order is regarding changes on conversion cost. This order was given on 20th April 2004. The conversion cost for a cooked meal under no circumstances should be recovered from the children or their parents. Thus, the midday meal is completely free for the students. The next order is regarding central assistant. This order was given on 20th April 2004. The central government shall also allocate funds to meet with the conversion cost of food grains into cooked midday meal. So here we see that the Supreme Court has emphasized the role of central government 
in the universalization of elementary education under Sarv Shiksha Abhiyan. Another order regarding kitchen sheds were given on 20th April 2004. This order states that the central government shall make provision for construction of kitchen sheds. So, the finances for construction of kitchen shed will be given by the central government. Let us discuss the next order given on 20th April 2004. This order was regarding priority to the Dalit cooks. This order states that in appointment of cooks and helpers, preference shall be given to Dalits, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. As we can see further that because of which it even helps in uh, the, the objective of uh, not only the universalization of elementary education but also the socialization objective of midday meal scheme. Next order is on 20th April 2004. This order is regarding quality safeguards. This order states that attempts shall be made for better infrastructure, improved facilities, example, safe drinking water, etc., closer monitoring regarding inspection, etc., and other quality safeguards as also the improvement of the content of the meal so as to provide nutritious meal to the children of the primary school. The next order was also issued on 20th April 2004 and this order is specially for the drought affected areas. This order states that in drought affected areas, midday meal shall be supplied even during the summer vacations. Since these areas are heavily affected by the drought, it is important that the midday meals should be served to the children even during the summer vacation. Now, there are few aims with which midday meal scheme was started. It was to avoid classroom hunger, increase the school enrollment, increase the school attendance, improve the socialization among the caste which were coming uh, among the caste of the children who were belonging to various castes and then they have to eat the food together, address the malnutrition and empower the woman through employment, empower the woman through employment. The midday meal scheme even provides the nutrition guidelines for the minimum amount of food and calorie contents per child per day which are as shown on the scheme uh, on the screen in the table. The cost of cooking includes cost of the ingredients for example pulses, vegetable, cooking oil and condiments. In the case of micronutrients, vitamin A, iron and folate, tablets and deworming medicines, the student is entitled to receive the amount provided for in the school health program of the National Rural Health Mission. The midday meal scheme provides the guidelines for the cooking costs per child per school day as we see in the given figure. The food norms with effect from 1st December 2009 are as follows. The food grains for the primary child is around 100 grams and the upper primary 150 grams. The pulses 20 grams for the primary class child and 30 grams for the upper primary child. Vegetables which include the leafy vegetables are 50 grams for the primary child and 75 grams for the upper primary child. The oil and fat is 
5 grams recommended for the primary child and 7.5 grams recommended for upper primary child. The salt and the condiments are as per the need for both primary and upper primary children. Let us now know about the finances of midday meal scheme. The central and the state government share the cost of the midday meal scheme with the centre providing 60% and the state providing 40% of the amount uh, relevant to the midday meal scheme of that particular state. The central government provides grains and finances uh, for the other food cost for facilities, transportation and labour is shared by the federal and the state government. The participating states contribute different amount of money. The expenditure for the midday meal program in 2013-14 was around 132.15 billion rupees. The per day cooking cost per child at the primary level has also been fixed as seen in the table which is rupees 4.13 while at the upper primary level it is rupees 6.18. Now, let us know about the monitoring mechanism. The midday meal scheme is monitored at various levels in different committees which meet frequently. The midday meal scheme is monitored at various levels by different committees which meet frequently to monitor its progress as shown in the figure. At the national level, the committee looking into the monitoring of Midday meal scheme is the national level steering or monitoring committee program approval board also known as PAB. The frequency of meeting is usually quarterly. St the state level steering or monitoring committee is there which also meets, meets quarterly. At the district level, the district level committee is there which monthly meets to monitor the progress of the midday meal. The municipal committee also meets monthly to monitor the progress of midday meal. The block at the block level, the mandal level committee meets fortnightly for monitoring the progress of midday meal. At village, the panchayat level subcommittee meets day to uh, day and uh, look into the functioning of the implementation of the scheme in the village. At the school level, the school management and development committee or the parent teacher association meets monthly or even as and when it is required to monitor the progress of midday meal scheme. The government of India reviews mission on midday meal scheme comprising members from the central government, state government, UNICEF and the offices of the Supreme Court Commission. It was created in 2010 to review the program and offer suggestions for improvement. Now, let us know about a very successful example of midday meal scheme that is Akshay Patra Foundation. One day in Mayapur, a village near Calcutta, a Divine Grace, A.G. Uh, Bhagati Vedanta Swami Prabhu Deva saw a group of children fighting with stray dogs over scraps of food. From this simple yet heartbreaking incident was born a determination that no child within the radius of 10 miles from the center should go hungry. His inspiring resolve has helped in making the Akshay Patra Foundation as what it is today. In June 2000, the Akshay Patra Foundation started the midday meal program in Bengaluru, Karnataka. The initial days of implementation were not too smooth and the smooth sailing for the organization. But soon came the helping hands of Mohandas Pai, Pai, who took the initiatives of donating the first vehicle to transport the food to the school. And Abhay Jain, who promised to bring in 
more donors to contribute for the further expansion of the program. The humble beginning of the foundation started with serving of the midday meal to around 1500 children across the government schools in Bangalore. Today, through the partnership with the government of India and various state <coughs> as well as philanthropic donors, the organization runs the world largest midday meal program built on a public private partnership. Akshay Patra combines good management, innovative technologies and smart engineering to deliver a nutritious and hygiene school lunch. In order to constantly maintain the quality of the meal, feedback is taken from school on a daily basis while delivering the meal. Akshay Patra Foundation adopts and implements Kaizen CI project and Six Sigma methodologies to ensure quality in all terms. Finally, we come to the present status of midday meal scheme. Today, India's midday meal scheme is one of the largest school lunch program in the world. The success of midday meal scheme is achieving the goal of universalization of elementary ed education can be seen from the following data that around 9.78 crore children benefit from hot cooked nutrition food in around 11.43 lakh schools during the year 2016 and 17 third quarter 25.25 lakh cook come helpers mainly from scheduled caste scheduled tribe and other backward communities have been engaged to provide the midday meal scheme to the school children during 2016 and 17. 7.81 lakh kitchen come stores have been constructed to ensure safety of food grains and ensure hygiene meals to the children. In this lecture, we learned about the historical background of midday meal scheme, the nutritional entitlement under the scheme, the finance and monitoring mechanism, and the present status of the midday meal scheme and its contribution in Sarf Shiksha Abhyan for the universalization of elementary education. So with this, we come to the end of this session. See you in the next session. Thank you.